from mastering Yoro's abilities to learning how to get out of every rank. This is the ultimate Yoro guide to go from noob to pro. Let's start with Yoro's abilities. Yoro's flashes are arguably one of the best in the game, but the higher you get in rank, the worse the standard version of them becomes. And you gotta start getting unique and doing more advanced techniques to actually make them effective. So let's take a standard Yoro flash and let me show you how easy it is to turn away from. So if we look directly at the ground and throw it, it'll bounce just above this box here that can net you a lot of free kills. Perfect, right? Almost an undodgeable flash. We could always bounce it off a wall, and that would look something like this. Yoru's teleport. So let's say our objective is to flash TP on B site player playing default here. Before you tick your TP, you should already know where you want to be looking. So let's say we wanted to kill this B site player. We would bounce our flash off of the wall here to pixel flash the person, and then as we TP, Time to jump. We would look left to completely dodge the flash and then turn and kill the B-Site default player. Or if you're a bit more skilled, you want to take your TP right before the flash comes in contact with the surface, like this, for an even better window. So when it comes to Yoro's clone, I really want you to get in the mindset of what can give me the absolute best odds and what can make it the most convincing. Well, sometimes Yoro mains will like pop flash a wall here and then swing mid so if i substitute myself with my clone maybe have the clone set up first bounce the flash send the clone then they shoot it then you actually swing another crucial tip with yoro's clone is using it to bait utility from the enemy just using your clone to bait kj mollies or a kj turret before hitting sight will make it that much easier. So even with the Cypher buffs, if I throw a clone into the trip, while it's tanking it, my entire team can push through the trip because of my clone. And this works for even bigger utility like ISO Ultimate or Raze Ultimate, for example. It's you and me. He ate my clone, he ate my clone. If you want to learn more about Yarrow's abilities, check out this video. Next, I'll show you how to combo with every agent. And a big part of this is just thinking about what utility you have on your team and how you can use it to your advantage. Go down exactly who is on your team and go through each and every single one of their abilities to see how you can combo with it. We have a Fade on the team as well. I can TP off of a Fade Dog or a Fade Tether. And I have an Omen who I can combo with his Omen Blind. And to prove to you how effective comboing with your teammates are, I'm going to combo with three different agents on Yoru starting right now. I have ultimate. Maybe I can combo with like in my ult and ISO. I'll handle this. Get out of my way. I'm back. Like, dude, I'm telling you, it is that easy, dude. I get asked for coaching a lot, and what I've put together is even better than coaching. Yoru Masterclass that would take anybody from Iron to Immortal in the fastest time possible. Keeping here, here Reyna's gonna blind through the mid pillar. Yeah. Bro, perfect, dude. I mean, there's already people in the group who are climbing with it, and they've only been in it for like a few days. Hey everyone, my name's Eden. When Rob announced that he was creating a Ultimate Masterclass Yoru Guide, I knew this was a huge opportunity I couldn't miss out on. I instantly signed up to join his Masterclass Guide and started going through each one of his courses taking notes. And to be honest, the results were pretty amazing to say the least. I didn't feel stuck anymore. I actually feel like I know what I'm doing now. Cutting through. Hey, I'm gonna combo my flash with Sky's flashes as well. I'm telling you, bro. Let me just show you how to even get the masterclass. Click the link in the description. It's going to take you to the about page. Watch this video that I've made for you. And then from there, click either of these links, depending on how you want to join. And it's as simple as that. Now I want to show you my favorite tip from every map in the game. Probably my favorite one on the entire map is this line up here. Get in the middle of this beam on the wall. Along the tree branch, eventually you're going to see this kind of V shape made out of the leaves. Aim at that V shape. Throw a flash, hug the wall, and swing long. So my favorite tip for Sunset is playing this off angle hell here with a TP, usually heaven, or over to B to rotate. So you play hell like this, and then as they're hitting A sites, I won't be able to shoot it because it's my clone. You can usually get a free kill, and then TP out for safety and play your man advantage. Next, we have split. On split, I cannot stress enough how important mid control is. Pretty much every single round, even if it's not you doing it, have your teammates break the sage wall mid and then from here you can smoke off mail and then flash tp for vents control 
or you can smoke yeah. off vents, break the sage wall, and then what I like to do is clone into heaven and take all the heaven control. Throw a high flash up here for a one way and take heaven control that way. Maybe set up a TP Time to towards jump. back site. Then from one of my favorite maps in the game right now, Lotus on attack, I like to send my TP towards Cutting doors through. here. And you can get a door control for free pretty much every single round. Sometimes they'll push down and contest yeah. this area. And if that's the case, you can just combine it with a flash. Yeah. Take doors control, maybe wall bang this a little bit. And then whenever I take doors on a site, I always like to send my clone on the opposite side that I take. Just to make sure I don't get any timings on me. The next map is Breeze. And my favorite tip is to abuse holes. Not only is it just really effective for like taking a site or if you want to flank when you're ever, whenever you're on defense. But it's also really good for spawn TPs as well. So one of my favorite spawn TPs is getting in this corner here and then aiming at the edge of this wall here. It's not that precise. Anywhere in the middle. Cutting through. And this TP will get you all the way to yeah. the enemy spawn. And then another one for attack is getting in line with this first kind of uh, support beam in the wall. Right in the middle of it. And then aim right along this line, kind of like in the middle of uh, this wall here. It's not super precise either. Time to jump. And this will get you all the way to the attacker spawn. And Breeze spawn TPs are really nice because the map is so big, they usually don't hear you whenever you take it. Next, we have Fracture. And one of the most important aspects of Fracture is farming these orbs, especially on attack. There are four yeah. orbs that spawn yeah. per round on this map. So I usually like to grab one here like this. Let my TP travel to the other orb. Yeah. Then TP. And if I can, grab the other one. Now, you want to be safe, of course, and make sure there's no enemies around here. You don't want to just die. Plus, if you include your death or any kills, that's minimum three ult points around you can get. And it makes this map so much easier to play. So the first one is a flash TP for Ebo here. Not too precise with the teleport. Just aim it generally in this direction. And then from here, you want to aim your flash at the edge of the window here. So it bounces off of this wall and then flashes all the people holding close here. And then from there, you can send your clone out, scale through, and take sight. Next, we have Icebox. My favorite tip for Icebox is don't be afraid to play mid. I feel like people are always super intimidated by mid. Right when the round starts, send your TP into tube and apply tube pressure completely for free. And even if you don't push it yourself, send a TP so you can get out safely. And even if you don't push it yourself, they still know you took it and you can apply some pressure or you can just clone. Send your clone down. Maybe activate the trip in kitchen, right? Start getting their attention focused on you into tube and get the B players yeah. to rotate off or the boiler yeah. player to rotate off. Next, we have bind and it's using your clone to abuse these teleporters. So instead of just sending your clone through the teleporter like this and then also taking it and making two sounds is to take it first, then send your clone to make it seem like only one person took it, aka your clone. And then from there, you can swing out and get a kill or two. Next, we have Pearl. And for Pearl, I think it's really important to learn how to do your flash TP combo from any distance. So this flash TP from here all the way to back hall. Time to jump. But despite it being so far away, learning how to do this combo yeah. and perfecting the timing of it. Yeah. And the same thing applies to hitting Time Art to from A site. So quick little lineup here. Just send the TP towards Art. And then I like to bounce it off of this roof here. Yeah. And TP. Yeah. If you want to learn more about how to play Yoro on every map, check out this video. This is the art of attention. Another great example of using attention to your advantage, using fake flashes to fake your location. This play also works way better if they have absolutely no idea where you're coming from. Let's say we wanted to sneak up behind her on backside here, but we wanted her to think that we were actually playing cave. You can bounce your flash off of the wall like this. That's not the best angle. It might be better to throw it like more this way. And then from here, the fade would be looking cave side because I just flashed from cave and she thinks I'm playing cave. And that gives you the opportunity to sneak up behind her 
and get the free kill. So more than any other duelist, Yoru thrives off of attention. The more you start to learn how to use it to your advantage, the easier things will be for you. And one of my favorite examples with that are fake pushes. So let's say you're playing Icebox here, and this is a really common setup. Let's say you guys have like, or the enemy has three stacked on A. They have like their KJ watching mid with like maybe her alarm bot or so or her turret and then they have viper holding b because b is like a less common site to hit on attack icebox and you guys want to do a fake a push and then actually hit b so what i would do is i would grab the spike and then i would run over here and kind of contest this area most of the time the enemy will give you this space for free especially if you use like any utility at all i would set up my tp before the round starts over towards b site ideally two people lurking to the site that you actually want to hit and then i would take spike and push up here like this we would get a Silva dart out. Uh, I would maybe like shoot a couple bullets, throw a flash. But the general idea is to do whatever you can to make them think you're actually hitting A. And then by dropping the spike, most of the time the A site players will hear you drop the spike. And then from there, they're going to start coming to their team. Spike is A, spike is A, spike is A. And that's when you're going to start pulling over the rotations from like the mid player. Or maybe Viper starts to go for a flank. And then as she's pushing down for a fast flank, our B site lurker is killer. And then now we have all of B site for free. I take the TP and we hit B site. Little things like this, Yoru excels at compared to any other duelist. This is the number one Yoru tip to get out of any rank, and that is communication. Without a doubt, the most effective way and consistent way to climb in every single rank that every single rank has an issue with is communication and working with their teammates. Even if it's as simple as in the pre-round asking for one teammate to use an ability, whether it's a dart or a smoke, anything, communication will completely change the way you climb and improve in Valorant. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next and follow on Twitch to watch me live. Link in the description.